I actually first wanted to be a dancer. I loved music and I needed to move. And you know, there's a possibility that I could have at some point wound up being a painter, but I really don't like paint. When I got to Rhode Island School of Design, I came up on the glass department and it was the movement and the, and the roar, that fire, I mean, it was just so attractive. And it always looked like this amazing, spontaneous choreography. Dale Trehuli was the instructor, he was brand new. And I was certainly one of the first women in the glass department, or in glass departments around the country. There weren't too many. There were these wonderful paths and we were sweeping them up, and they made these beautiful, you know, three-dimensional, random forms. And I thought, ha. Huh. I was always just intrigued by you know, being able to take a line and transform it into something really beautiful. It's very easy to form into what looks like a brush stroke. It's just a stroke of glass fiber instead of a brush. Then I also started developing kilns. I needed to be able to go into the kiln because I thought it's hot in there. It's hot enough to melt it. Why can't I do like you do when you're blowing glass and just take it out, work on it, and put it back in? So I did. All my pieces start flat and the whole thing goes in the kiln. It fuses for, depending on the piece, anywhere from three to three and a half hours till it's just perfectly fused but not melted because then it would lose the beautiful texture. And then I start forming it by hand. Proceed one step at a time. And, and then there are the great days where you come in and you just like have something you know exactly what it should be and, and it, it just flows and it's, that's a great day. And a lot of the days are just work like everyone else. I mean there's a reason artists call their work their work because it is work. It's a lot of work. <laughs>